Ellie De La Cruz is a freak of nature and should be banned from baseball for the sake of the integrity of the game. Since being called up in June 2023, Cincinnati Reds shortstop Ellie De La Cruz has literally run all over Major League Baseball. Literally. But even if we forget about his 35 stolen bases in his rookie season, he can hurt you in so many other ways. Besides his speed, he's got pop. Launching 13 home runs in his first 100 games and sports a cannon for an arm from the middle infield. But let's focus on career home run number six. The Reds are in Milwaukee, where only two weeks prior, Ellie De La Chaos stole three bases on two pitches. That's right, three bases, two pitches. Now, I went to a Pac-12 school, so check my work, but I believe the number three is larger than the number two. De La Cruz became the first Reds player since Greasy Neal in 1919 to steal second, third, and home in the same inning. That's right, THE Greasy Neal. Somewhere Ricky Henderson is like, damn. Anyways, back to July 24th, 2023. Ellie leads off the game for Cincinnati against the Brewers' Chris Ray. Third pitch of the game and Ellie takes it deep to center field. But at the wall, Joey Weimer is there to rob De La Cruz of three left turns around the bases with a great leaping catch. It goes in the books as a 401 foot flyout. If it were 402 feet, it would have been another leadoff home run for Ellie. The Brewers put up a run in the bottom of the inning and we head to De La Cruz's next AB in the third. And the scoreboard operator in American Family Field is feeling themselves and decides that they're gonna troll the Reds rookie by adding a fun trivia fact about the young Dominican. In the immortal words of Chaucer, let sleeping dogs lie. Why would you try to make this man angry? Yet, there it is. Player trivia, almost hit a home run in the first inning, but didn't. First off, hats off to the scoreboard operator for showing OPS instead of batting average for the lineups. Let's make that a thing, please. Back to Ellie's second at bat. Top of the third, one out, nobody on, and this time he makes sure that Joey Weimer can't get to it as he tattoos this ball literally into another zip code. De La Cruz, high fly, deep right center, gone! That's out of the stadium. It went over the SUV, it cleared the stands. That ball had a family. The Brewers would go on to score a walk-off win in the bottom of the ninth inning off closer Alexis Diaz to win the game 3-2, but nobody remembers that. Nobody, Nobody's making a video about Christian Yelich's RBI walk-off single. Christian Yelich's mom doesn't even remember that. But everybody remembers the time that the Brewers tried to troll one of MLB's most exciting young players and failed. 